Hello, my name is Chaitanya. Today I'm going to talk about what is auto scaling, how auto scaling works. I'll also show a small demo on auto scaling. First, what is auto scaling? Auto scaling is a management service which allows users to automatically adjust computing resources according to the business needs. The various features of auto scaling includes the first one, scale out, wherein automatically it adds additional ECS resources. Scaling is a process wherein automatically it releases ECS resources to save cost. The last one is your self healing. When an unhealthy instance is detected, it is automatically replaced with a new one. In this diagram, both scale out and scale in features are shown here. Let's understand what is scale out. So when you want to do a scale out activity, I would create a scaling group in which I would mention how many minimum number of ECS instances must be part of the group. I also define what are the maximum number of ECS must be part of the group. Once you create the group, you also create a scaling configuration in which you are going to update what type of instances, what are the image to be chosen, the size, the VPC and the vSwitch which is going to be part of your scaling configuration. Once done in this, you define a scaling rule. You can also define a schedule task for creating your scaling activities. So now as per here, I have updated Maximus 5. So what is going to happen here is it is getting monitored by cloud monitor once it is added. And once the CPU load average get 80%, it is going to add two more instances. This is how scale out works. Now let's understand how scaling works. Now, since we have five of them, I also have created one more scaling rule it, wherein I've defined a threshold as if the load average of CPU or is less than 20 per, 30% remote to ECS instances. So when the cloud monitor uh, comes to know about or uh, reaches this threshold limit, it is going to remove the ECS instances. Now let's understand how auto scaling works. The first step, you need to create a scaling group in which you uh, mention how many minimum number of instances and what are the maximum number of instances which can be part of the group. Going on to scaling configuration, you define the details of the instance, a size, type, the image, also to decide in which VPC and vSwitch the scaling must happen. Once that is done, you enable the scaling uh, group. Then you decide the scaling rule as to actually how do you want to scale up, whether you want to add one or change the number of instances, different one, you can do it. You can also create a scheduled task as to actually what time on when you want your instance either to be removed or to be added. Once this is done, Cloud Monitor is going to monitor all the activities and it's going to take up appropriate action. Now, let's do a small demo for auto scaling. Now, I logged on to my Alibaba account. I click on the products. Now for the demo purposes, I have pre-created one Elastic Compute Service. In US Silicon Valley Zone B with IP address for public, there's a private IP, the PayAsico model. And using this, I also have created a custom image which you'll be using while creating your auto scaling. I created a server load balancer with the name test ELB with the public IP address. I also added the instance into vServer group. The last one, I also pre-created RDS DB instance in the same region and zone as to both instances and SLB. So all three SLB instance, RDS DB instance are residing in the same region and zone.
Now let's go ahead and work on auto scaling. So I access products and click on auto scaling. First one is to create a scaling group. Give a name as scale group one. The maximum number of instances which I want to scale out by bidding as two. Minimum is one. Default cooldown time is 300. During this cooldown, the scaling group will not execute any other scaling activities after the previous scaling activity is executed. Removal policies is referred when the scaling activity happens. It needs to understand which of the ECS it needs to be removed. So it will follow either of these policies. The first one is earliest created instance. Second one is most created instance. The last one is earliest created instance using scaling configuration. Which is the default values, which is updated here. The network type in which I want to launch my scaling group, I'm choosing the default VPC. I choose a switch in which I want to have my configuration done. I can add in multiple V switches if required. And I can also choose the policy which I want to use for auto scaling, whether I want to choose priority in which it is going to add or remove ECS instances de depending on the specified V switches based on the order which you have mentioned there. You can also define based on distribution balance across different zones. The last one is cost optimization based on whether the ECS instances were launched using preemptible or pay as you go. Whichever is cheaper, it is going to add on those. Now, let me also add in my SLB. I want to add in my RDS instance to be part of the auto scaling group. Add it here. And now I click on OK. The first step. Now, going further, we will click on Create now. And now I need to update the launch configuration details. So for test purpose, I'm going to use an entry level shared burstable type D5, which gives a specification of one vCPU, 0.5 gigabit RAM and 0.1 gigabits per second network. I choose a custom image for in here and I auto scale demo is my custom image. System disk is 40 GB, assign a public IP. This is the default bandwidth. To allow any communication happen on the instances, I allow the firewall port, the default given here, and click on select. Review, I give a name, scaling, and I'm giving weight as 50 and I click on create and now click on enable configuration I click on confirm so I'm all set with my configuration is also confirming whether do you want to enable the scaling group right now yes I want to enable it I click on confirm now it's enabled Next one is and to define the scaling rules. Scaling rules I define when do I want to scale up. So let me put as rule number two, for example, and I choose add one instance. I cool down time period, I'll give 60 seconds in here. I click on create scaling rule. This is done. Now let me go ahead and execute this. I click on confirm. I click OK. Now let's see what is happening. So I go back to my ECS now. It is configuring the scaling group. 
You can also go and observe what is happening to your ECS instances. And now you see that we had only one before, it's created one more, which is your minimum instances. Now let us create a scheduled task and observe is it spinning up a new instance immediately. So I click on auto scaling. I click on schedule task. I create a new one. Task two. And I want to run right away, so I choose today's right now date and time. Just give in here and choose the scaling group rule which is created here and I give 60 seconds in here and click on OK. Now let me refresh this. Just created the task. Let's wait for two minutes and we'll see whether it creates your ECS instance automatically. So I'm refreshing my screen. Yes, so it's 06 now. And you must be seeing one more running in here. Yes, now we see that a new ECS instance is coming up because this was defined in the scheduled task. So this is a small demo how your auto scaling works. Now once it is going to come in and later you want to delete it, you can again go on to auto scaling and delete your groups in here. This is how you delete. For some time you do not want to use it, you can also choose disable. You can also use even trigger tracks with your auto scaling. Let me again go back and check in the status now. What is coming now? Now let me clean up and go to auto scaling here. And I choose here and click on delete. Confirm. And it's going to terminate all my instances which got created. So this was the small demo which I want to talk about auto scaling. Thanks a lot.